Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Samsung SNE was the last compact flagship phone Samsung has created. This could literally compete with Zenfone 8, Pixel 5, and iPhone 13 mini until the newest S22 came in. Today we will compare 12 things to see if it's time for us to move on to the next best thing. This is one of the more comprehensive comparison video you will find online. This is our Versus series, Samsung S10e versus Samsung S22. Is it a worthy upgrade? We'll see. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go. Let's start with the build quality. Samsung Galaxy S10e is using Gorilla Glass 5 and aluminum frame, while Samsung Galaxy S22 has the newer Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and also aluminum frame. The difference is just minute, the glass protection, but in day-to-day -day use, this might be a lifesaver. Victus Plus is the toughest Gorilla Glass yet, with significant improvement on both drop and scratch performance. In Corning's test, Gorilla Glass Victus survived drop onto hard, rough surfaces from up to 2 meters. While other glass protection typically fail when dropped from less than 1 meter, that's a significant improvement. The aluminum frame on Samsung S22 is called Armor Aluminum. I doubt there's a significant upgrade, but both are also IP68 certified. You can submerge both phones to water 1.5 meters in 30 minutes, a perfect getaway and travel companion. Next is design. This is subjective that there's an important piece of information we need to know about this. On Samsung Galaxy S10e, the fingerprint sensor is on the upper right side. Actually, it is more comfortable to use and easy to remember. It is perfect placement for your left index finger and right thumb. The selfie camera is on the upper right side and the rear camera is flushed so it won't wobble when you put it on a flat surface. While Samsung Galaxy S22 has an in-display fingerprint sensor, it is easy to use too. The selfie camera is in the middle, giving a more symmetrical look, but the rear camera has a significant raised bump on the upper left corner at the back. This all boils down to case thickness because cases need to raise the back cover for the rear camera module. You will find that the case in S22 is thicker than the S10e. You will find a lot of slim type cases for S10e. Next is the unlocking method. Both of them as fingerprint sensor, but different implementation. The Samsung Galaxy S10e has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner. It is fast and reliable. While Samsung Galaxy S22 has an in-display fingerprint sensor, it is ultrasonic so it's not as fast as optical. You need a little pressure to register your finger and sometimes screen protector may affect the performance. I know, I know, you'll say mine is working, use this temper glass instead. But my point is we don't have that discussion over S10e. You can install a cheap temper glass and you're good. Let's talk about the display. The Samsung Galaxy S10e has a dynamic AMOLED screen with HDR10 Plus and supports always on display. While Samsung Galaxy S22 has a dynamic AMOLED 2X, it also supports HDR10 Plus and supports always on display. In terms of screen resolution, it's almost the same pixel density. We don't have any crazy changes around that, but the biggest change is the refresh rate. Samsung Galaxy S22 has 120Hz adaptive refresh rate and the brightness peaks at 1300 nits, compared to 603 of Samsung Galaxy S10e. I'd say the screen is a significant upgrade. Refresh rate and maximum brightness are so useful. The Samsung Galaxy S10e is running on Snapdragon 855 and this is powerful enough even this year. I can easily play heavy intensive game on this chip, and light games, social networking, YouTube video, and call and text are a breeze. While Samsung Galaxy S22 is definitely the most powerful phone right now with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The processor isn't optimized yet on some games, but eventually it will catch up. This can even compete with A15 Bionic of iPhone 13. That's how fast it is. Both phones will perform good, but Samsung Galaxy S22 also has 5G connectivity. The processor is capable of 5G network. In terms of benchmark score, the newest S22 will easily beat the S10e. We will have a speed comparison of these two phones, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Samsung phones are known to have great cameras. In fact, I'll put them on top 3. Samsung Galaxy S N is 12 megapixel main sensor with variable aperture of f1.5 to 2.4 with dual pixel autofocus and OIS. It also has a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens with 12 mm field of view, wider of 1 mm compared to Samsung S22. The selfie camera is 10 megapixel at f1.9. Meanwhile, the newer Samsung Galaxy S22 has a true triple camera setup of 50 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 10 megapixel telephoto. 
The selfie camera also gets the same 10 megapixel at f2.2. I think the biggest difference is the resolution and the sensor size. Samsung Galaxy S22 is a bigger sensor compared to Samsung S10e. It is also a brighter and more out of focus image. We will have a separate camera comparison video of these two phones, so stay tuned. Samsung Galaxy S22 is also implementing adaptive pixel technology to make the night shot brighter and better. It is also a sharper and more contrasty night shots. Video recording is also good on both phones, but there's also a significant upgrade on Samsung Galaxy S22. Both the selfie cameras can record 4K at 60fps, but the biggest difference is the rear camera. Samsung Galaxy S and E can record 4K at 60fps but without EIS, the footage will be shaky for sure, you might need a gimbal. But Samsung Galaxy S22 can record 8K at 24fps and 4K at 30 and 60fps with gyro EIS or electronic image stabilization. So you will have a more stabilized footage on S22. Next is audio quality and not everything is an upgrade I guess. Let's start with a similar feature, both of them are stereo speakers and something that we expect from flagship phones. The difference will be the audio jack, the Samsung S10 still has the headphone jack so if you're not ready to give up the audio jack, that will be a problem with S22. Either you go dongle or wireless. Going back to the audio, let's have a 30 second quick demo for both speakers. Both of these phones are running on the latest One UI 4, so you won't miss a beat even though you're using the older Samsung Galaxy S10e. The bad news is the Samsung S10e is getting closer to end of support. Samsung promised 3 years of update on the 2019 flagship series, so let's go figure, this might be our last year. While the S22 series is promised to have 4 years of update, so that's until 2026. In terms of naming convention, that's until One UI 8. Next is battery life and they share the similar freight, a smaller battery capacity. The Samsung Galaxy S10 only has 3100mAh battery and with my computational lead that always reach out for my charger at night, maybe around 7 to 8pm before bedtime. While for Samsung Galaxy S22 it has 37mAh and based on my similar needs, I can go all day without charging but usually charging it before I sleep or charging while I'm sleeping. The upgrade is on the charging speed, Samsung Galaxy S22 has a fast charging capability of 25 watts while S10e only has 15 watts. Same with wireless charging, both can charge 15 watts. The only advantage of the older S10e is the charging block, it comes with a charger. Next is storage, this is a downgrade for Samsung Galaxy S22. They offer the same 128 and 256 gigs of internal storage, but only Samsung Galaxy S10e can be expandable through micro SD card. It can take a whopping 512 gigs, and I bet it could go as high as 1 terabyte, but I haven't tested it yet. And lastly, the price. In Canadian dollars, we can buy 4 to 5 Samsung Galaxy S10e for a single Samsung Galaxy S22. A used or refurbished Galaxy S10e is around $250 to $300, while a brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 retails at $1099 plus tax for 128 gigs and I think $1299 plus tax for the 256 gigs. So what is Gadget Revenue's verdict? Samsung S10e or Samsung S22? Both are really good phones. Let's do a review. Samsung Galaxy S&E is a more reliable fingerprint sensor, a slimmer case is available because of the flush camera, audio jack, micro SD, and it is cheaper. While Samsung Galaxy S22 has a better screen technology, it is faster with 5G connectivity, better image quality and video, longer updates, better battery life, and faster charging speed. Whatever your buying decision is, whether you want a cheaper phone with audio jack and micro SD slot, or a newer phone with better camera and faster performance, I think you will enjoy both of them. If you're coming from the older Samsung Galaxy S10e and you want to switch to Samsung Galaxy S22, if you can let go of the audio jack and external storage, yes, Samsung Galaxy S22 is a worthy upgrade with the same battery life experience, just a tad better. 
And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue to compare Samsung S10e and Samsung S22 in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.